everyone and welcome. Um, my name is Regina Fitzpatrick. I'm the genealogy librarian at the New Jersey State Library. And today we'll be showing you a, a quick comparison of the state archives versus the New Jersey State Library. Since the two organizations sound so similar, um, and you know, because other other every state is organized differently, some uh, archives and library are the same thing. Uh, it, here in New Jersey, the state archives and state library are two separate organizations. So we figured it would be useful to uh, tell you a little bit about each organization and what they have and when to go to which. So let's dive right in. As I said, the state library and the state archives are two separate organizations with completely different records collections or collections period. So let's talk a little bit about what the state archives have. The archives is the official repository for records of New Jersey State Department. Um, and this includes many genealogical collections. Uh, if you are looking for vital records, New Jersey vital records, uh, which are the civil vital records collected by the state of New Jersey, these are birth, marriage, and death records, uh, and these cover from May of 1848 uh, up to the early 20th century. I'm being deliberately vague here because annually the archives uh, holdings are updated with what they have. Uh, so if you have any specific questions about what the current vital records holdings at the state archives are, just send me an email. Military records for pre-World War II conflicts. So this is any New Jersey military records from the colonial era up to World War I. Uh, colonial era deeds and other land records estate records, which includes any kind of probate documents, including will covering from the colonial era up to 1952, and uh, many more genealogical records, but also of State Department records that are non-genealogical in nature as well. And if you have any questions about non-genealogical records that the State Archives has, you can let me know, or you can contact the State Archives for more information. So the state archives has records and they have specifically New Jersey records from state departments. So in contrast, what does the state library have? We have an 18,000 item genealogy collection. So our genealogy holdings are quite extensive, uh, but we have mostly published books rather than records. Uh, the two main records collections that we do have that are highly useful for genealogists are newspaper collections and city directory collections. Our city directory collection includes over a thousand New Jersey city directories plus about 260 non-New Jersey city directories. Uh, we have our, our city directory collection is much larger than the state archives. The state archives has a few municipal city directories, but since uh, city directories are privately published, these are not something that the archives is mandated to collect. So the state library city directory collection is much stronger than the state archives. So if you are doing city directory research, you should come to the state library. And within our published book collection, we have a very large uh, minority collection of family histories. This makes up about a third of our book collection. Of course, family histories are incredibly useful because they include generational information and having consolidated family information can help you navigate uh, you know, to the records. The family histories are not restricted to just New Jersey families either. Uh, they are families from all over the United States and these families may or may not have resided within New Jersey. We do have a very nice newspaper collection, uh, which is particularly strong for 20th century. Uh, so, and our collection represents 20 of the 21 New Jersey 
uh, counties, unfortunately not Ocean County. Uh, for Ocean County newspapers, you can go to a local public library or a historical society. Um, the newspaper collection is fantastic, if you're, particularly if you're doing a bit of research. Uh, our, our published collection includes genealogy reference, out-of-state resources, indexes and transcriptions of records collections, plus many, many more resources. So State Library largely has uh, published resources and our collections are not restricted to the state of New Jersey at all. So when do you go to the state archives and when do you go to the state library? If you are looking for New Jersey state level records, you would go to the state archives. If you are looking for any kind of primary document within the state of New Jersey, I would reach out to the state archives because likely they have it or they know who does. If you are researching for New Jersey ancestors after May of 1848, so that you can get vital records. Why is this significant? New Jersey began to collect civil vital records at the state level, these are birth, marriage, and death records, in May of 1848. We like vital records because in general, when you're doing genealogical research, you are looking for a birth, marriage, and death event for each of your ancestors. So this is a really easy way to get them. In addition, uh, the information used to create these vital records generally comes from the person themselves or someone who is very close to them. So we consider the information recorded in these vital records to be accurate and highly authoritative because they come to from a close, uh, a close source to the person or from the person themselves. So Anytime you have an ancestor uh, born after May of 1848 or who lived any time after May of 1848, you want to get those vital records first. And, and that's why. If you're looking for uh, certain non state collections, these are more county records, these are still New Jersey records. Uh, the State Archives does, have, does own the originals uh, to some naturalization records, which are largely held by the County Court of Common Pleas, but in some cases they transfer those over to the State Archives, or some county marriages, which are generally held by uh, the relevant county clerk, but in some cases have been transferred over uh, to the State Archives. And uh, if you look at the State Archives website, they make it very clear what their holdings are, what original records they own, and what you can order from them remotely. If you're doing any kind of historical research and you're looking for primary document sources, for instance, if you're researching court cases, uh, military records, or deeds, then you would, again, go to uh, the State Archives. So again, you're after records, you go to the state archives. When to come to the state library? If you're doing those city directory research, research, particularly New Jersey city directories, again, we have over a thousand New Jersey city directories. Um, and again, the archives has not prioritized collecting city directories because they're not from the state department, but uh, you know, the the library is not restricted in that way at all. So we have tons of New Jersey City directories. If you're doing any kind of 20th century New Jersey newspaper research, and this could be obituaries, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, come to us when they're looking for a relative who played sports in high school, or if uh, the the relative had a newspaper article published about them. Um, people come to us and ask us to uh, to look into our newspaper collection on their behalf, or you know, in normal times they come into the library and do the research themselves. If you're researching pre-May of 1848 ancestors, 
uh, now I said you want to prioritize the vital records before. Well, it, in pre-May of 1848 times, there is no comprehensive collection for either births or deaths. In those cases, you're largely looking at church or cemetery records. Um, and there's a good chance that perhaps church records or cemetery records might be published and we might have a published book with that um, information. In addition, uh, family histories uh, are particularly strong in the colonial and early 19th century era. So those might be particularly useful to you if you're researching pre-May of 1848 ancestors. And in addition, we have a, a published newspaper transcript series called Extracts from American Newspapers Relating to New Jersey, which covers uh, most of the 18th century. So if you have relatives in that time period, this resource may be particularly useful to you. Do you have any questions about, you know, why this in particular, this might be useful or what exactly you might find in the family histories or the published extracts uh, please drop me an email. I'm happy to give you further details. And also, if you're a New Jersey resident uh, who has ancestors who lived outside of New Jersey, as I said, you know, our, our collection mandate does not restrict us to only New Jersey subjects. We have many uh, works in our published collection that uh, cover resources from all over the country and some international resources. Our goal uh, for our collection is to help you follow your ancestors in and out of the state of New Jersey. And it's particularly easy to do this uh, in the colonial era up to the early 19th century and then into the 20th uh, for uh, city directory research and newspaper. What can I access from home? Well, there's a reason why you are looking at my kitchen behind me instead of my office. Um, currently, we, as we are filming this, we are in the midst of a global pandemic uh, and people particularly are interested in what resources they have access to from home. Uh, let me just say that, unfortunately, in the state of New Jersey, the records that you will find at the state archives, so state level, state department level records, including vital records, are not digitized anywhere online. So the records themselves are not available on Ancestry, Family Search, anything like that. There are some indexes that you can access, and we will discuss that in a minute. Uh, but you must order records directly from the state archives. So let me just say that. So here is what you can actually access. The state archives website does have some online indexes to their collections. Uh, in some cases, these indexes provide abstracts or transcriptions of some records, but you can't see the records themselves. You must order them uh, from the order form. If there is not an index to a particular collection, there are still order forms online and you can still order records remotely from the archives website. And they are, even though, you know, we're, we're currently in a pandemic, uh, they are still filling uh, records reports. State archives website, although I did say that largely uh, New Jersey state level records have not been digitized. The state archives website does have a limited amount of digital collections. Uh, these include photographic collections such as uh, State Department photographs and Civil War Carte de Visite uh, and some documentary items including state constitutions uh, and slave births and manumissions at the various counties. I know soon State Archives is going to be adding tax readables uh, to these digital collections as well. If anyone has questions about any of these items or wants more information, just please let me know, send me an email. There are uh, New Jersey vital records. These are the post May of 1848 vital records, birth, marriage and death records. Uh, indexes available online. 
uh, and these are both on the archives website and at other places as well. Uh, the indexes uh, from Reclaim the Records, Family Search, and Ancestry cover various time periods. Uh, if you would, if you want details, please let me know. I can delve into this deeper. You can also email me to link for the links uh, to any of these records. However, you should always go to the State Archives website first. I have that in bold and in red because it's important. Why is this important? Because their, in, their digital indexes are transcribed directly from bound ledger books. So the information in those indexes is taken directly from the original source. So please check the archives website first for their indexes and to see what indexes they have available. And then if you don't find what you need, then go to these other sources for that information. As for the state library, uh, our library catalog is freely accessible to you 24 seven. Um, and I, I noted this specifically because many books in the genealogy collection were published pre 1925, which means they are no longer under US copyright law, which means there's a very good chance that they've been digitized somewhere online. Um, so you can use our library catalog to build a little book list and you can just, you know, from that you can copy and paste titles into Google and see if you can find them online by looking at the uh, publication date. And again, I'm, I'm very happy if you'd like a demonstration of this or if you would like me to explain how to do this, please just send me an email. We have a very cool tool called Research Guides, uh, which lets us put a lot of information related to a particular subject in uh, one place. We have many research guides, not all of them related to genealogy. However, we do have a specific genealogy research guide. Uh, on this, I have put together uh, the listing of the state archives resources, the listing of the state libraries resources, and a listing of the county offices genealogical resources for New Jersey. In addition, I've posted tons of uh, our previously recorded genealogy webinars. I've posted guides and handouts about specifically about New Jersey genealogical resources and uh, general genealogy resources as well. So I've posted the URL for you right there on the screen. You can also email me and I'm happy to send it to you by email. And uh, finally, I, I put this specifically together, this particular document, um, you know, since we are currently in the midst of a global pandemic and many of us are stuck at home. Uh, many of the physical locations of buildings are currently closed. Uh, so what I have done is I've put together a living document with regional resources, and this means uh, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and Delaware, uh, digital collections, digital online indexes, transcriptions, as many things that, as I could find online. In addition, I've tried to um, keep up with ongoing online genealogy events, uh, events by events I mean programs that you can go and attend, um, volunteer opportunities particular out, particularly outdoor mass social distance volunteer opportunities um, and a few other things. Uh, so the genealogy and quarantine document the link is there. In addition it's linked all over the place on the genealogy research guide as well. So those are just those are some of the things that you can access currently from home. Again, most of the records, which are what most people are interested in, they're hoping their own ancestry. They're not. You must go through the state archives and order the records from the state archives. So that wraps things up. Uh, I put my contact information up, the State Library's website, the State Archives website, and the State Archives reference contact information here. I hope that this was helpful to you and uh, that 
you know, if you have any questions whatsoever, please send me an email. I'm happy to answer what I can and then direct you uh, to the state archives for anything that I can't answer. Uh, and if, please feel free to reach out. And I hope that you now have a really good understanding of what we have to offer to you at the state library versus what the state archives has to uh, offer to you as you're doing your genealogy research. Thank you.